Portland FC here being introduced to the dignitaries by their captain. Thank God, Ike, the big central defender. Well, Heartland are leading 2-1 from the opening leg last Sunday. It was an eventful affair at the Dan Anyam Stadium in Oweri in Nigeria. TP Mazembe went ahead through Trezor Mputu Mabi, their young playmaker. His seventh goal of the competition so far in the 24th minute. There he is, the man on your screen. But immediately, Heartland grabbed an equaliser through King Osanga, who went on to be named the player of the match. He really turned things around. You can also see just behind there, Isa Ayatu, the Cameroonian president of the African Football Federation. The winner came 11 minutes before full time and it was Uche Agba who got his fourth goal in just three games for Heartland FC. He scored three in the semi-final victory over Kano Pillars. They went through 5-0 on aggregate from the semi-finals. Well, it was a far tighter affair for TP Mazembe. There you see the supporters of Le Corbeau, the Crows, as they are known thanks to their black and white strip. They qualified for the final. Both these sides came through the same group as well, and we'll talk about that in a moment. TP Marie Mohamed Benouza of Algeria. There are the traveling supporters, hoping their side can relive the glory years of Iwanyuanyuwu, the former name of this giant Heartland FC club. They were a great side in the late 80s and early 90s. Iwanyuanyuwu winning the Nigerian Championship five times, the Nigerian Cup once. They were runners-up in this competition back in 1988. There we see the Nigeria with that 2-1 loss. Kidiaba in goal and Putu, their captain, he'll be playing in a three-man attacking midfield along with Singuluma and Kabangu just behind the striker Kaluya Tuka in midfield. Bedi and Akanga Amia while across the back Chizu at right back. Banyak, of course, in the center of defense, along with Mihayu. And the left-back position for the scores down there is the Heartland FC. Starting lineup. then, Brown in goal. Efug, Osanga, the man that equalized last week. Ebenegbu and Agba Ezeroika, the new man coming into the side, along with Omo Diagbe and Okegbu. Thank God, Ike in the center of defense as his answer at right back and running the line the former winner of this competition with Enyimbra International Football Club Emeka Nwana Muteba Kidiaba the man in goal he likes to just dribble a little bit of water on the ball as well at the start he's on the first leg in Nigeria a week ago Heartland 2, TP Mazembe 1. And both sides now have 90 minutes to make sure. Kaluya Tuka backtracking back, it's with Orji. Now Asanga King, player of the match in that last one. That's a good challenge coming in there, robbing Ibanegbu. Singaluma and Kaluya Tuka can't bring it down. That's well flicked over. One for Singaluma to chase. Kaluya Tuka in there as well. Heartland clear. Efug. Only as far as Betty and Benza. Forward towards Kaluya Tuka. To defend this first corner to, to be whipped in by captain of TP Mazimbi. Brown comes and punches. He had time. It's played straight back and intelligently back to Trezor and Putumabi. Second ball in is deep towards the back post. Brown coming for it. Trezor and Putumabi. Congo International. Extraordinarily talented player. Kaluya Tuka jumping for it. Let himself go to ground rather easily. And Heartland clear. Comes straight back again through Betty and Benza. Ekenga. That's a free kick. Another one in favor of the home side. 
Good early pressure from TP Mazembe. It's going to be another chance for Mputu to whip this ball in. He goes direct at goal as well. Brown punches. Mputu almost with another chance. Now, Mabele with the ball to the back post, but there's nobody going to be able to run that one down. To settle things down a little bit as well. Mputu, he's managed to get past his man, little chip to the back post, it's a good ball. Played back across the face. Kabangu wanted the corner and he's got it. Well, it looked as though he just mishit his volley. happened a little ahead of schedule Singaluma Ebenegbu now for Nwana Mekanana that's a good return ball to Ebenegbu oh he could have shot he's laid the ball off and they've put it wide and really that was a guilt edge chance for Heartland FC why didn't Ebenegbu take the shot he Tried to lay it off into the path of King, which back in to Betty. And Benza Betty, the ball forward. That's well played by Mputu. The overlapping run. Oh, it's well cut out, but it's laid back again to Betty, who tries one. Straight at Augustine Brown. Well, that chance at the other end seems to have woken TP Mazembe from their slumber. on this might fall kindly and Putu that's a good ball they're in behind them here across the face and it's cleared once again by Oji well the best chance of the match so far has fallen to Heartland but TP Mazembe are really starting to tighten the screw now it's their third opening in as many minutes Mahayo has given it away. Nwana. Banyak gets there once and then again. Asiz Zansa on the charge. Inside for Kabangu. Back for Asiz Zansa. It's a great run. And he blazes over the bar. What a wonderful piece of play that was from Asiz Zansa. The Ghanaian right back of this TP Mazembe side. It's Chizu Kanimbo with a great run. And really, Kiriaba. The ball in towards the front post. The header is from Ibaregbu. He could have done a little bit better there, perhaps, and got that one on target. It was a good opening for Ibn Egbu, the central midfielder who likes to get forward. Tireless worker. Behind. That looked like a handball from Orji. Surely that's going to be a booking. And it is. The second booking of the match. Deliberate handball from Orji. He was a second half substitute in the match a week ago. And Putu. That's a good ball in. The flick on from Betty. What a great chance that was. Augustine Brown coming for it. And he didn't get there. That could so easy. Launches it forwards towards Kalu Yutuka. And Putu wants it quickly. Akenga leaves it. Mabili again coming forward. This time for Mputu. Well defended again. Mabili. 
for Mputu. That's a nice turn from Mputu. Outside of the right boot, the header. Back down and cleared by, thank God, Ike. Chizu. Even egg boot. Wide for King Osenga. King Osenga looking to get down to the byline. It's a good challenge from Mabele. Orji with the throw. Well, that's a very comfortable long throw. Kabangu does well. Picks out Mputu. Now the charge is on. Mputu wants it back and he's got it. It's a great first time ball. Is there to be an opening here? Kabangu. Kabangu going either side. He's gone down. The referee allows play to continue. It was a Kanga. One last chance, perhaps, for TP Mazimba in this first half. Mputu, nice turn. Betty, that's a good ball wide. There's going to be another chance to cross here. In it comes, the header! Oh, and it's come off the post. Minutes of this game. TP Mazimba enjoying the better of it. Kaluya Tuka coming closest to breaking the deadlock for the home side on the stroke of half time with that header that came back off the upright. But otherwise, despite all their domination, it's Heartland FC that have had two of the best chances in this game, both times falling to a Senga King. But at half time here, it's TP Mazembe nil, Heartland FC nil at the Stade de la Kenya here in Lubumbashi as we see that chance again. And on aggregate, that means that Heartland still lead by two goals to one. You're watching myafricanfootball.com. As we hear, just see a replay before we go to the break. It's a good ball in. It's a great header from Kaluya Tuka. Brown was beaten, but not the woodwork. Half time at scoreless here between TP Mazembe and Heartland FC. We'll be back with all the second half action in a couple of moments' time. So don't go away. We're going to have a change. Asanga King can't continue, so coming into the game. It's the Zimbabwean, the Zambian rather, excuse me. Signs, wonders, Chibambo, who's going to come into the game. So two Zambians on the pitch at the moment, given Singuluma for TP Mazembe. And now Chibambo. kick says the referee in favor of Akanga wants to take it quickly Akanga trying to get things moving enthusiasm there they want to have a word to him as well the referee comes across and will allow play to continue now Mihayo Not happy with the rather confused nature of the free kick, which has given the ball away. That's a good turn from Kabangu, though. Mputu with the flick over the top, arriving. Augustine Brown can only punch as far as Mputu. Now the chance, single over. Looks as though it was deflected over. because he can't continue so we are going to see as Enwa Ikachuku have to come into the game he's wearing the number 30 shirt and this after the injury just now to Asenga King as well it's not good for Heartland FC they've lost two of their important players now Laying down the law to his teammates. And he saw Akenga turn away. 
as though he was not celebrating the new edit with the throw again in towards Mputu Mabi. He's been very closely watched. They know he's the danger man. That's a great run. Coming up this right-hand side. The chance now. The save by Kiriaba. And an excellent piece of defending from Chizu. Emeka Nwana was preparing to pull the trigger. And surely a goal now for Heartland would just about kill off this tie. Brilliant stuff from Kiriaba. Keeping his son. Another wonderful chance for Heartland. And you wonder just how many of these they're going to lift her again. Ibn Egbu with the ball in and the header over. Thank God, Ike. The man coming forward and heading over the bar. Their aerial domination. Nwana. And Bele does well. Again, the flag up for offside against Emeka Nwana. Oh, got to be careful there. Just kicking out a little bit. Against Banyak. Bede. The ball forward. Touched off. Looks like it's going to be a corner. Kibengu to take it. TP Mazembe continue to push forward. The ball in is cleared only out to the edge of the area. The shot was blocked. It comes back again. Deflected. Cleared. Chibambo forward towards Nwana. Musa Disu from Mabele. First time cross on the left foot. It's a good one. The header. It looks like it's an own goal. TP Mazembe are in front. By a goal to nil. Kidiaba launches the dance. It's the first time he's crosses with his left foot all match. Bawaka Mabele. But what a good ball it was back in to the danger zone. And we'll have to see a replay. It looked to me as though it came off one of the Heartland FC defenders. TP Mazembe and their 35,000 fans here in Rapture. Let's have a look. It's a good ball wide for Mabele. In it comes. And it is, and I think it's the captain. The number 14, Victor Ezuruike. Who's headed that ball into his own net? Lusadisu, the substitute for Mabele. The ball in. Well, you wouldn't wish a mistake on that on anyone I mentioned just seconds earlier. And that's most definitely the case. It's an own goal from the captain of Heartland FC, Victor Ezeruike. Agba. He said before the first leg he had two dreams. One was to win, and the other was to score. Well, he scored the winning goal last week. But he's not on the scoreboard today. And at the moment they're not winning. It might fall kindly yet. Uchenna, the shot! And Kiriaba saves. Well, Agba, he almost had that dream come true with five minutes left but he shot too close to Kidiaba. can just blow the final whistle because it's a rather farcical end to this one and Putu Mabi plays it short gets it back again and he's won the throw it's all over though the referee comes TP Mazembe win the orange CAF Champions League for 2009 it's finished 2-2 on aggregate 1-0 here sent off in the first minute of stoppage time